What is B-roll? Okay. So B-roll are these supplemental shots that add context to your video. They usually enrich the story and are not shots of the main character or the main shot of your video. Usually I like to think of B-roll as the small details. And the problem is, is that we'll shoot B-roll and we get hundreds, hundreds, sometimes even thousands of B-roll clips, just raw footage that have a lot of shaky parts, that have a lot of blurry parts and just a lot of unusable parts in the B-roll. Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how I edit B-roll like a pro in just a few clicks and how I actually automated my entire process so that I never have to manually select B-roll again. Without further do let's get straight into it so this client just paid me ten thousand dollars to edit b-roll selects and he has no idea that i didn't edit shit <laughs> so i i forgot about it i procrastinated and he sent me 500 raw b-roll clips i don't know if you ever got a project like this but they tell you like oh like we have all this footage can you just like remove the shaky parts the blurry parts like there's a lot, a lot of unusable stuff in here this is just like half of the timeline they sent me hundreds of clips it was ridiculous there's no way i was actually gonna finish this it, it was a ridiculous project so I built this plugin called B-roll selector and I just go to window, I hit extensions and I click on my B-roll selector thing and it pops up over here. And dude, I'm telling you, this is, this is actually insane. So you can either upload your B-roll clips here or you can just edit the B-roll that's already on your timeline. I'm gonna hit in and out points because I already have that. Then I'm just gonna hit the auto select button. Then look at this, look at my timeline right now. It's cutting up all my B-roll clips. It's selecting what's shaky, what's blurry, uh, what's usable. And then it's automatically labeling my B-roll. So so you can see all these green layers right here these are all smooth shots like there's not a lot of movement going on but then all the red shots right here are like parts when the camera is down or whatever or like they're like filming something and there's like a lot of shake and honestly it's really crazy because i would do all this part manually Wait, another part the shaky shaky movement uh this part over here oh more movement oh this part smooth smooth and usable this part's a lot of movement this has a lot of movement right here. Uh, that's that's not appealing. It's actually kind of crazy though, the fact that it just went through all the clips on this entire timeline and then just edited out the shaky parts. So the way it works is it uses an AI model that's trained off of a bunch of clips that are like stable and shaky. So it knows what is a smooth shot and what's too shaky and like not usable for videographers. It's funny, I know there's this ongoing debate where like everyone's like, oh, AI is replacing our creativity. AI is replacing our jobs. Like just, I'm gonna rather do it myself. Like bro, I'm sorry. Sorry, but if you're saying that you're just not creative to begin with it's, it's not really about using ai to actually replace your creativity but like let ai do the bullshit for you and then that way you can actually do the actual creative stuff if you want to take that whole creative route i think if you're creative it's smart to use ai and, and tools and places like where you don't need it to do anything super creative it's literally just detecting shakiness and removing it so i think that using ai and plugins like this doesn't replace editors it just replaces bullshit that's just my opinion i think this is a great use case of having AI. It's available for pre-order. It'll be ready later this month, but if you want to try it out, then comment B-roll down below in the comments and we'll send you an exclusive link to where you can download it.